the other one. Bit of magic. Off it comes. Petrol tank. That one, one on the other side, tank brace off. Petrol tap. And the other. <coughs> Tank centre bolt. Taps off, brace off, centre bolt out. Grip, try not to tip it. Oh. Off. Remove banjos, quarter width with banjos off, little filter goes in the banjo, clean, clean filter, banjos off. Carburetors off. And the other one off. Tie them out the way. Both spark plug caps. Rocker feed pipe. Remove the head steady. One, two, three. Head steady. My stud comes out on this one. Two spaces underneath. They're fairly thick. Front rocker cover. Four bolts in my hand. And the inlet one. Four screws. You have to use a spanner on these. You can't get a socket in. I'm taking the inlet rocker box cover off first, so I'm slacking my spark plugs off. Roll the engine round until uh, both valves are closed. Four on the top, and there's three on the bottom, and there's one in the middle under here. So I'll whip them out. Right, I've taken all the smaller ones out. Leave these two till last, but just crack them off. And then uh, whip these out. So, all, all the rest are out. Now it's just these. Because them valves are closed, this shouldn't spring up any. Careful with your push rods. One off. Do the exhaust rocker. Roll your motor over. Sparks out. Roll your motor over till both valves shut. Out there. Four across the top, three underneath. 
to out again. Carefully push rods again. Oh, I'm stuck in. Just had it drop. Push rods out. And then the head bolts. Gonna go for the head bolts. Man's a nine stood. So there's one in the middle here, for this side, for the other side. You can't get these two in for the frame, so when you put the head on, don't forget to put them in. One push rod stayed, there we go. I forgot to film this bit. I've taken these eight bottom screws off the barrels. They're a double X nut and they're half inch EF. You, you might have to take a little bit off this edge with a grinder or a file to get it in so you can get a turn. The question on a forum uh, was how do you talk these up? Well, personally, I never use a torque wrench. I always do it by hand. But the, the only way you could do it, really, is make, make your spanner or buy spanners what are a foot long or 12 inches long and spring balance. And literally hook the spring balance on and pull at right angles till you get the poundage you required. And that's, that's torqued up. Well, personally, I just yoke them up by hand. And the followers, just lock your followers up. I use a bit of petal pipe with a split. And then just put the splits to the outside. That's enough to hold them in place. See them on the other. Well, oops. Right, barrels. Bit of cloth. Lovely, nice and solid. 